Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the studio. Our studio, because you guys are part of this journey. It's not a big studio, but it's the size is just right for me. And as you can imagine, I have a lot of fun here. So, let's begin. This is perhaps my favorite corner. I have a beautiful painting I did a few years ago. I just love the way I capture the water and how I capture the reflection of the sky. Every time I have issues with the uh, water or when I'm painting water, I always come back to this painting because there's so much to learn just by the brushwork. It's like a master class for me. Yeah, so this is why I love this painting. All right, to the side is my other painting. That's my beautiful niece. She's extending her hand to catch the blue butterfly. Beautiful metaphor. Another thing about this corner is that I have the piano here. I don't know if you guys play the piano, but if you want to learn how to die and then come back to life, get a piano. The best investment. Yeah, this is where I play around and I just have fun here. So whenever I want to take a break from painting, I always come back here, sit down, study some scales. Having the piano here just feels right. It just makes this whole thing called the studio come to life. So I love this so much. I also have speakers here on top. Put my laptop here and just watch movies. I can also record music. Yeah, so this is like the recording station. Pretty cool. To the opposite side, I have the, uh, the lounge area. This is where I sit down and I meditate. I sometimes read books. This is a piano stool. This is also my work desk. Yeah, I drink a lot of water. I'm actually getting thirsty. I have a, an amp that doesn't work anymore. I don't know what happened to it. It's a tube amp, super powerful. If you wanna get that good crunch, but now it just graces the corner of my uh, sofa. Its main function now is holding the two speakers and a diffuser. So it's pretty cool, very convenient. All right, I have a power outlet. This is where I charge the battery for the camera. Then I have this guitar, my first one actually. This guitar has a new purpose. When it's not rock and rolling me around, I use it as a key holder, my hat holder. So very functional, minimalist, I love it. All right, this painting is super interesting because I I painted this with a palette knife and I really love the effect. The only problem with it is that it takes a lot of paint to just do this and a lot of the paint goes to waste. The end result is just beautiful. Look how nice it looks. It looks really nice. Yeah, that's like the clouds. The, it's a beautiful sunset. You can actually see the reflection of the sky on the water. It looks pretty neat. This is one level up guitar. So if I feel like a rock star, this is the one I want to play with. Yeah, super nice guitar. It's there. I just love to sit over here, work on my videos, my music, anything. And just having this in the back, oh, I just feel so great. I also have a bookshelf, I guess, and I do read books. I love reading books. I do a lot of audiobooks too, so I listen to a lot of books. All right, for those who don't know, this is the seven energy centers. They represent the chakras. I have a little table with the light. I have a crystal. I actually forgot what type of crystal that is. So if you know, please comment below. Then I have a little fake plant. And of course I have the Buddha. All right, and then I have a beautiful octopus that my mom made for me. This is actually like a guardian angel. So when I'm alone here, painting or doing anything, he's here to protect me when I'm alone. So my guardian angel for sure. I also have an acoustic guitar. Right now it's out of tune, but very soon I wanna, I need to cut the hairs out. So if you have any pliers, please let me borrow them. Music books, I have magazines, art magazines. What else do we have here? Oh, I forgot to mention. So this is the corner. A painting I did uh, two years ago of my nephew. It's a metaphor. I don't know if you understand it. I understand it. I love when people analyze the painting and they tell me how they feel. This is a painting that my niece did for me. It's my eye. It looks really real. That's my actual eye. And it's connected to my heart. All right. One thing I forgot to mention is the lighting here. It's one of those LED lights. So I actually have the power to lower the intensity by the click of a button. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I do sometimes paint over here. I bring out the easel and whenever I'm working with watercolors, this is the place to do it because it doesn't get too messy. So it's easy to clean. It's just really fun to be surrounded by books, the guitars, the painting. It just makes the whole experience really, really magical. By the entrance, I also have a switch similar to the one over there and it controls the light of the, the whole studio. It's a bigger bulb. I don't know if you can tell by the size. 
I can increase the intensity, lower it. Just makes it easier whenever I need to angle the easel a certain way. That way I can benefit from the lighting. I also have this lighting here. I have two of them, but I feel like for the studio, one suffice. This is my tripod for the camera. When I'm recording, I just increase the height and I just kind of place the camera this way. The cool thing about this area is that I can paint however I want. I can move that light over there and I can allow the painting to face that way or that way. So there's many ways to configure the, the studio and that's why I, it's so appealing to me that I can actually play around and I don't have to just limit myself to one position. I have two carts. I bought this one a few years ago. It's a little old. This one is a newer one, but this is where I keep the brushes. I keep some of the oil paints, gloves, I have some acrylics at the bottom. That's what I use whenever I'm making texture for the uh, canvas. On this side, I just have plenty of oil tubes. What do I have here? Whenever I'm stretching canvas, this is the tool that I use. I have Play-Doh for some reason. Oh, I like the lighting here. <laughs> it looks really nice. So for here, I have um, the mediums that I use whenever I'm gonna use oil paints. I have the linseed oil, liquid, I have gesso, I have um, charcoal, turpentine, watercolor brushes. I also have, let's see if you guys can see from here. I have erasers, watercolor pencils, watercolor color pencils, graphite pencils. I have a lot of pencils. <laughs> what is this? I didn't even know I had this. This is what, tinted watercolor pencils. Interesting. What else do I have? More graphite pencils. Oh, I have this. I've never used this, but I have it. My sister gave it to me. Maybe I should make a video doing some spirals. That should be fun. This one is open. I have charcoal, I have red charcoal, and I have white charcoal. This is the one I use the most when I run transferring images to the uh, canvas. A great way to transfer images. I have this if I ever wanna make a little circle. If I wanna draw some planets, I use this. <laughs> what else do I have? Oh, I have more Play-Doh. I have a random fork. I don't know why, Maybe if I'm hungry. I have more paint over here. More colored pencils, more colored pencils, paper. I need to clean this. So, yeah, so I have Play-Doh here. What is this? I have sketching pencils. Came with this eraser. Then I have, what is this? Handmade mixed media paper pad. Oh wow, this is so cool. I have watercolor paper. I really can't wait to paint some watercolor for you guys. Let's see what else do I have. Mixed media. I want to paint on this. It's acrylic. I also have cheap music paper. Yes, I compose music. Watercolor, tracing. I have it all. What else do I have here? I have two big brushes. I haven't used them yet because I'm mostly working with small canvases. So I'm, I'm not going to be using this ones yet. I have pastels as well. This ones are pastels as well. I have a ruler over there. I think this is watercolor. Let me just double check. Oh yes. Oh my God, this is amazing. If you do watercolors, highly recommend you buy it. But it's crap because if you're mixing and it falls off the table, all these little things come out. So they're all over the place. I don't even know. It doesn't really matter. But when I'm painting, I don't know if I'm, I'm doing black. They all look like black. <laughs> so yeah, it's a little bit problematic, but you'll get used to it. What else do I have here? This is my girlfriend's case. This is where she keeps her paintings and her brushes. This is such a cliche. I have one of those, <laughs> one of those palettes. Okay, I have canvases here, little canvases and some uh, wood panels. This is my girlfriend. She's doing a paint by numbers. She's coming along. I'm giving her props. This is the painting I did a few days ago. What do you guys think? This is my girlfriend. She's gonna paint something soon. So she actually added some texture to this canvas. I don't know if you guys can see. It looks a little rough. I'm actually excited to see how it's gonna turn out. This is the painting I just finished. Hey, I'm actually very, I need to pat myself on the back because I really love how the water came out. The waves, they look so amazing. And this is the first time I actually paint the ocean. I mean, I don't know if that's the ocean. It looks like a lake. But this is definitely the first time I paint the ocean, so I'm super happy with the results. All right, I don't know if you guys noticed throughout the tour, I only use the primary colors. I use the yellow, I have the red, I have the blue, I have the burnt umber and the titanium white. For the ocean though, I had to use like a different blue because there's no way I can capture that aqua color with the primary color. So I have to buy uh, this color called phthalo blue. So yeah, I have the brushes here. I still need to clean them. I have this easel. It's a very, very simple easel. Doesn't have any anything special to it, but but it's just great because 
for some reason I feel comfortable with it. So it's my favorite easel. Even though it's so simple and so humble, this is the one I like to work with, especially when I'm doing small paintings. Usually what I do is when I'm finished painting, what I do, I put the finished product over here and just let it dry slowly. Well, in this case, it's gonna oxidize slowly. But I love it because nobody can walk over there because like the two tables creates a barrier and it protects the painting. I have a little cubby. All right, so I bought this on Amazon and it came with the little phone holder. And it's an actual bunny, it's so cool. I never use it, but for some reason, I feel like there's a bunny here. I have a measuring tape for no apparent reason in case I need to measure something. Yeah, all right, so I have the palette knife there. I have some brushes. I need to clean those brushes. I need to make an episode on how to properly clean brushes or at least how I clean them. I have a computer here. I have a microphone. I have extra batteries for this camera. So I also have a large canvases here, 24 by 36 inches. So they're pretty big. I have a blackboard over here. There's a few messages there. There's a bird. There's also a message that says, love always written by my sister. Basically the most important message that you can have anywhere. Love is the only answer. So yeah, so this is the studio. Something that I forgot to mention earlier is this is a foldable sofa, so it becomes a bed. So yeah, so whenever I feel like I just want to be here and relax, I can either move that over there and I can use that uh, computer and I can watch a movie. So I moved this stuff around just to make it fun. This is a storage room over here. My guitar case. Uh, what else do I have? I have painting materials, camera stuff. I have a telescope. These are the frames that I'm gonna be working on. I have a bunch of paintings over there. The light over here is really bad. Let's see. So yeah, I have a bunch of paintings. I have tools and stuff. I have a Nintendo GameCube, batteries, a microphone. This is a really cool printer. I still need to learn how to use it, but it's really cool because it cuts out shapes. I need to organize it. The cool thing is that I can easily, assuming it's organized, I can just push this in there. All right, so we can just kind of push that in there. I can push everything in there, put the easel over there, and then this becomes an open space. This is a very cool space because I can easily move things around. Very much a place to feel at home. I put my music when I'm painting. I can also listen to some audiobooks. All right, well, this is a studio. I really hope you guys like it. If I do any changes, I will let you guys know. For now, this is where, where I create little pieces of art that you guys see. All right, well, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.